Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Hans at dito po sa tabi ko ay si Yuawan at welcome sa aming YouTube channel na Niche TV. So ang video nito ay inspired na sa kanya. Kasi siya po ay special child at na-diagnosed with autism. So ang video na po ito ay papakita po namin sa inyo na kung paano i-handle ng maayos ang panganap ng isang Siberian Husky. So, dito po kayo makakuha ng mga ideas at mga tips at na kung saan na hindi na po kayo makataranta, takot at magpanalapat. So, abangan niyo po ang video na ipapakita po sa inyo at huwag niyo po kayo mag-skip para marami din po kayo matutunan. We will only show few videos because others have technical problems, so I will explain what we did the rest. You can see in the video, our dog, Seven, keeps licking her vulva at this time. She is also not comfortable or uneasy. So she keeps standing and walking. It is a sign that she is about to give birth. If you are planning to have your dog breed, you must first prepare and put her in a good and healthy condition with proper exercise such as walking and grooming. And by giving her high nutritional food diet, which is the dog food. The brand of dog food uh, that we use is the Azu. And vitamins to drink for pregnant dogs. In our case, we use the Api OB Multivitamin. You can buy it either online or through a pet shop. We give her a 5ml of multivitamin two times a day after eating. When feeding your dog before breeding, you need to have the right measure of feeding. In our case, we use se we, fe uh, we feed 7, 1 cup or 1.5 cup of dog food. Do not overfeed or put too much food because overfeeding can result in obesity at the end of pregnancy increasing the risk for difficult or prolonged labor and extra stress on the puppies. And if your dog doesn't like to eat pure dog food, you can mix it with minimum amount of meat, vegetable or meat sauce, but not with rice because rice can make your dog increase weight faster. Moving forward to this video where you can see the first pup is coming out, you must also provide a comfortable place for your dog to give birth. In our case, we cannot afford for a veterinarian assist or take her to the vet. So we do it by ourselves. For the fur parents, you are there to provide assistance if you cannot take your dog to the vet. In our case, we prepare some things or equipment for assisting such as scissors, surgical gloves, Betadine, alcohol for disinfecting of hands, not used for pups. Tissue, cotton, dry and clean towel, and a thread. When it comes to the umbilical cord, you will only cut them if the mother is preoccupied delivering another puppy. In nature, the mother should be the one cutting, which is safer than cutting it with scissors. After cutting, don't forget to apply a piece of cotton with betadine to prevent infection. Then, tie a knot with a heavy thread 1 inch from the location of the pup's umbilical cord. Then, use clean scissors to cut the cord between the two knots. Cutting too close to the pup's body can risk its health and leave it too long could lead it to being chewed or swallowed by the mother. If the mother hasn't cleaned her puppy, then may have fluid in their airways. Clean a puppy's airways with a clean finger and towel. Now there are other pups that will have difficult in breathing while the mom is in the middle of delivering another pup. In this case, clear the sack that the puppy is in and quickly dry them against the grain of their fur with a clean cloth. Rub their chest gently in a circular motion using the towel, 
this rubbing motion will also encourage the pup to take their first breath. When it comes to laboring, your dog should labor about 3 to 12 hours from the start of the contractions. Dog will usually give birth to all of the litter within 6 hours and never take longer than 24 hours. In our case, it takes 20 minutes to 2 hours and a half before delivering all the puppies. If your dog is in a good, healthy, well conditioned at the start of pregnancy, she should be able to do most of the work in giving birth without stressing the fur parents. But still, you need to provide some assistance if something happens. When you are sure that labor is finished and the pups are all good and settled, give your dog the normal puppy food that they have had throughout pregnancy, as they'll need something that's gentle on their stomach. Puppy foods have higher calcium, protein, and phosphorus compared to adult dog foods. And that's our video for today. If you have any questions, you can comment down below. And also, you can share your experiences and ideas in assisting your dog while giving birth. So thank you for watching and listening. Don't forget to press the like and subscribe button for new and updated videos. Stay safe and God bless you all.